Psalm 29 is about the power of the voice of the Lord. There are a lot of songs nowadays that talk about the Lord roaring. It's not a fun thing. The voice of the Lord speaks and forests are felled. He spoke and the world was. His voice to us can also be a comfort, though. The Lord speaks and everything can change. There can be wrath on the unbeliever, but for the believer, there can be restoration. God just has to say the word, and the believer receives strength and hope and redemption for their sorrows. God speaks, and weeping is turned into rejoicing. David says that his times are in the Lord's hands. There are times of weeping and times of rejoicing. David revels in the goodness that the Lord prepares for him, for those who fear him. He recognizes the great love of God that came to him when he was under siege. He recognized the Lord's help. I think my favorite part of Psalm 31 is verse 20. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. If we abide in the secret place of his presence, then we are hidden from the plots of man in the strife of tongues. We can dwell in the peace and joy of God's presence while people can talk about us and plan evil against us, and we get to ignore it and just look on the beauty of the Lord and hear him speak his tender mercies over us. We can make the secret place of his presence our dwelling place where we live. We can remain in his presence, delighting in his goodness, hearing his voice, and rejoicing. Always rejoicing.